Hello, dear friends of the internet. It is me, Edward, of Dash.Red, and today I am going to install the Dash Electrum wallet in Crux Linux. Crux Linux is an interesting distribution of Linux in that it doesn't have any pre-compiled packages. Everything that is installed on this distribution needs to be compiled from the command line. So you can see here I have a fresh install. The only user that you can log in with is root. So I've just logged in for the first time. Uh, I'm going to allow myself to connect uh, using SSH because I want to be able to copy paste things to make it easier and this command line doesn't offer me that ability so to start I'm going to echo permit root login yes into etc SSH SSHD config and then when I do the command etc rc.d sshd start I should be able to run putty 192.168.0.111 and connect so here you can see I have putty and I can log in as root so, if you want to be able to do this, you need to make sure that for your network settings on your virtual machine, you have a bridged adapter. If you have a bridged adapter, it'll have a separate IP address from your host operating system, and you'll be able to log in. So, now, I want to install TWN. TWM is Tom's Windows Manager or Tabbed Windows Manager, something like that. Anyway, uh, if we do a start X, you can see that we don't have any Windows Manager. We do, we do have um, some different programs here, but there's no way to control them. Uh, you can't move them around on the screen or anything. So that's not very, very good. So let's install TWM. Let's go to temp this time, TWM. and so from here I can copy paste, so cd into TWM and then just run that big command. All of the commands that I, that I run here in this installation will be in the description of this video. So you can practically copy paste your way through the whole thing. go and if we do a configure prefix equals USR. Now while that's running let me explain that I'm going to only use the USR bin and USR lib directories. I'm not going to use user local, USR local. I'm not going to do any of that. It's just going to be everything's going into USR bin and USR lib. So then make and then make install and then if I go back and I make der x clock and I cd into that and now I can copy this command and the next one and the next one and then make make install and so why did we do that we did that so that it runs properly. If we go back to the start X, you can see now we have the ability to move these little windows around and X clock also automatically launches so you can see what time it is. Pretty cool. This is a very old fashioned uh, desktop environment, but that's the way things used to look maybe 30, 40 years ago. 
Okay, so now we need to install some other things. Let's go back to the temp. Uh, make der Wayland. CD into Wayland. And now we want to wget this. And then unzip master. And then CD into Wayland master. And then we want to run this long command. Okay, then make. Make install. And then CD back into temp. And so make dir Wayland protocols. Okay, CD into Wayland protocols. And now we're going to wget this and then unzip this and then we want to cd into the directory and run this this next uh, or this one right here doesn't have a make it just goes straight to make install Okay, so one more that we need to install, uh, libxkbcommon. So we create the directory, cd into it, wget the files, unzip, and then cd into this, and then Autogen. Okay, make. Make install. Okay, so now we can go back to temp and we can check on Python. Three. See what version it is. It is Python 3.6.5, which is the exact Python we need. So we don't have to install Python. It's already there. So the next command will ensure that pip is correct. Okay, and then we're going to use pip, Python pip to install pyqt5. Okay, so we are currently in the temp directory, which is correct. Now we're gonna install dash electrum. First we get the correct file. Then we uh, expand it, cd into dash electrum, and then we only need to do one command to install it. Right there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to copy the executable into user bin and we also want to copy the directory of modules into the correct location. Uh, on the operating system. So those are the two commands I use to do that. Now we don't actually have a user. We only have the user root and I want a user. So I'm going to create a user and verify that I can launch the program from any user on the operating system. So I'm going to create a user called Edward and from the other command prompt I'm going to su as EC1WARC1, that's Edward. Now I'm Edward, 
and I'm in my home directory and I should be able to start an X environment and you can see I have those wonderful windows and I should be able to run Electrum Dash. Yes! So you can see it launches. There you go. The Dash Electrum Wallet on Crux Linux. Thanks for watching.